Now I don't mean to brag, but this smells really good. And that's because I made it by blending together uh, my own chili powder using three different chilies instead of buying a store-bought one and, and doing that. And I can control the spiciness and how, how good it smells. And um, you too can customize your own chili oil if you just keep watching. First, prepare 5 grams of millet chili. This chili is really spicy and may need there to enhance the spiciness. So add more or add less accordingly. Following that is 25 grams of bullet head chili. And it's got really nothing special going on. And it's there to just serve as a baseline chili. And lastly is the 30 grams of dried red lantern chili. It smells really good, but not really that spicy at all, so it's here to enhance the fragrance of the chili oil. If any of these names sound silly to you, and that's because it is, because I couldn't find any translation of these specific chilies in English, but I will link some stores down below where you can buy them potentially. Also if you didn't know, ingredients list for my recipe videos is always in the description. Wash all the dried chilies you're going to use because most of them are dried with the power of the sun and that means they're left out to collect dust for a long time. Dry them by stir frying them in a wok or a pan on a low heat because burning the chilies is really the only way you can fail this recipe so you know don't do that. Keep stir frying for around 20 minutes. And you can just cut some open to see if it's dry on the inside as much as it is on the outside. Now put all the chilies in a blender and blend all the chili into a coarse powder. And maybe wear a mask. Cause this stuff made me sneeze so much that I thought I had fucking corona or some shit. But I don't, don't worry. Now take two thirds of the coarse chili powder out and then continue to blend the rest into a fine chili powder. Oh, and there, there's me walking by. I also blended some citron pepper powder, but you can just get those in stores. Now that you have all the chili powders ready, put them aside to prepare 5 to 7 slices of ginger, 2 cloves of garlic, and a single spring onion. As for the dry aromatics, prepare 3 bay leaves, 1 star anise, one nutmeg, half a cinnamon stick, about 2 grams, and a tablespoon of whole citron peppercorns. It's a good practice to prepare everything before you start cooking. Get 200 grams of vegetable oil to 240 degrees Celsius where it just starts smoking. This is to remove the rawness that some vegetable oil has. Turn off the gas and let it cool down to 150 degrees-ish Celsius before putting in all the dry aromatics, followed by all the fresh aromatics like ginger and garlic. On a medium-low heat, fry these ingredients until they become golden brown and discard them to the side. Now if you can, sift that hot-ass oil before continuing because any leftover aromatics bits in the oil will burn and make your chili oil taste bitter. Now take the oil and heat it back up to 220 degrees in a bowl that you know can take the heat. Add 3 tablespoons of coarse chili powder and a tablespoon of sesame seeds. Pour 2 thirds of the hot oil in and if you have a bigger spoon by all means use it instead of this tiny ass spoon that I had used. Quickly stir it around to make sure everything had an even treatment of a hot oil bath. Now add in 1 tablespoon of fine chili powder, 1 tablespoon of citron pepper powder, 10 grams of black vinegar, and a teaspoon or a big pinch of salt. Wait for the oil to cool down below 180 degrees celsius and pour the rest of the oil in. The vinegar should have evaporated and everything should be incorporated nicely with the help of the hot oil and a good stir around. And you're good to pour this on whatever the fuck you want to pour this on. Uh, 
a good bowl of noodle. Hell yeah! And I don't know, gyoza? You can also use this chili oil in making the sauce for this thin sliced pork belly dish that I made a few weeks ago. So yeah, go do that. So we're back here where I'm sitting and talking to the camera like a madman. And um, you might be wondering how, how long can you keep this? Uh, and the answer is pretty long because uh, it doesn't have much um, moisture in it because hot oil and moisture doesn't go well together. So yeah, you can keep this for at least uh, half a year, I'd say. Yeah, and if you like this video, uh, remember to like and subscribe. And if you already subscribed and wondering why I haven't been uploading, it's because I, I cut my finger and I, yeah, thank you for watching. Bye. So a little bit of a quick update. I was just coming into the kitchen to like refresh my starters over here. And um, I found myself just taking this chili oil and um, taking a sniff of it like this and I realized I've been doing it every time I came in the ticket uh, came into the kitchen and I think I'm addicted <laughs>